But here's a quick tip that I get asked all the time, and that's how do I make the equivalent of the dam standard brush in ZBrush, which is a brush that scores lines into the surface. So here's a very quick tip of how to do it. So the closest we can get default with Nomad is the crease brush, as you can see there. I've got a sphere here that's quite high resolution, and if you just do it with the crease brush, you can see it gives you a fairly okay line but that's a crease and if you put the wireframe on here at the bottom and you can see what that's doing is it's pinching together into a, a a narrow gully on the on the surface which to highlight that if you go into up here to the crease stroke you'll see that the fall off shows you this slope going up to a point there so it's not bad but it's not ideal so let's just double tap to undo we'll turn wireframe off and what we can do is we can one thing that will always help is if you if you've got to a certain level of resolution and you're not getting a good surface you can just subdivide it up so that one now gives me a, a much higher amount of polygons four times the amount of polygons to work with so we're going to use the clay brush and as you know, if you're a, a Nomad user, the clay brush is this. It gives you the ability to use clay on the surface. So we'll undo that. We know what that is. We'll reverse it or, or sub it or, or give us the opposite, which is this button on the right. We'll go very, very low on the radius, but with a high intensity. And then you don't get too bad of an effect. So it gives you almost like a channel, but that's not giving us what we want. Damn standard doesn't do that. If you look at it in wireframe, you'll see that's just pushing down against what's called the surface normal. So it's going in based on the settings that it has. So we have to adjust those settings. So just undo that and come back again. So we need to look up here and we're on the clay stroke and we've got an alpha that's a, a square. And that's why we get that um, uh, channel because it's based on this alpha. So first of all, we need to change that alpha to this one. And this is a little dot. It's a simple one to make. So in Procreate, I just literally drew a dot and then saved it as a JPEG. That's as simple as that needs to be. So we've got the alpha in. So what does that give us? So nothing really. If you look closely, it does actually work. So it's giving you a, um, a, a slightly... It's giving you a slightly indented surface. So if I went bigger, you'd see that it's not too bad. It's it's actually giving us a little channel like that, but it's giving it quite stuttered. So let's undo that and go back and see what we can do with that. So we go back to the stroke, uh, clay stroke, and now we'll play with the fall off. So we want to hit custom. So we want to make it narrower at the top. We'll bring it in a little bit here. So we want not, not a point, so we'll get it rounded at the top and then sloping away like that. Come down below it. You don't need to adjust um, the spacing intensity, but mess around with your stroke smoothing and keep it high. Dragging distance all the way low and snap radius doesn't really matter. And then see what that looks like. And we're almost there. So if you just make it a little bit bigger, you should be able to draw everything that you want as you would with um, or all your indented surfaces like you would with uh, dam standard in ZBrush. So you have to be a little bit slow with it because there is some delay on it. Um, don't forget at this point you could take sub off and that gives you quite quite nice um, veins as well. Uh, it gives you a good way to do like a little vein on the surface. But you notice how much smaller the the um, uh, the effect is now on the surface compared to the original clay. Now you can try this with just brush as well, not just, just, just not just clay. So there's quite a few you could change those settings with until you get one that you that, that you like. You can't at the moment you can't save that. So you have to get used to making that brush on the fly. And that's a great way of just um, uh, making yourself uh, a nice brush for doing creases and anything where you want to indent a little line on the surface. I really hope you're enjoying these new quick tips. If it's something that you like, please give the video a thumbs up and comment down below. If it's something that you do want to see more of, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure you hit all so we can let you know when we drop new videos, which is usually every Wednesday and every Friday. Have a great week.